What's good, YouTube? Nabby Boy 92 here, back again, once again, and today, people, today, this is episode 9. We are back with some more Soul Silver for you guys. Uh, if everything goes according to plan, this should be the third episode this week of Soul Silver, and that's a little more than usual. Um, I only did that because we didn't have any black and white recorded for you guys, black and white co-op, Kristen, aka Color Death, and I, and uh, it's just week, we just couldn't get our schedules together to uh, record it. The, cancel, the series has not been canceled. God, I can't talk today. <laughs> the series has not been canceled. It will be back next week. It's just our schedules couldn't match up, so don't worry, though. Got some more uh, Soul Silver for you guys. But anyways... Uh, let's go ahead and check out the party. In the last episode, we shit, we defecate. I did it again. I keep opening up the goddamn Pokedex. Um, <laughs> in the last episode, we did defecate all over Whitney and her gym with the brand new Heracross that we added to the party. He is a motherfucking monster. He's a beast. I swear to God. And it didn't help. It didn't help Whitney at all that we learned Brick Break, like the battle right before we started fighting her. And, uh, if, if Miltank wouldn't have used the tractor or whatever the fuck he used, Heracross would have definitely just shit all over it immediately. But anyway, <laughs> we have Heracross level 20, Pidgeotto level 20, Croconaw level 20, and Flaffy level 20. That is our primary core team. Then we have the two HM Slays, Rattata for Cut, and Geodude for, like, um, Rock Smash, and, uh, I don't, I don't think Geodude can learn Strength. I don't think he can, not yet. So, we might have to get someone else for that. But, uh, I believe that we are successfully done. Pretty much done with, uh, Goldenrod City. Uh, I know there was something downstairs in the game corner or something, yada, other, but I'm not all that worried about it. I just want to get the next gym badge! So, let's go ahead and keep chugging, chugga lugga lugging along. If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, um, the next gym is Ecruteak City. Like I said, um, when I played through this the first time, I was a lot younger, and that was years back. But, one thing I do know about Ecruteak City is that it's a ghost gym type. Camera the photographer. Why don't I have a picture taken? Sure, buddy. Go ahead. Take my picture. Oh, the whole party is there. You see Rattata was behind me? <laughs> Rattata gets no love. Double battle. Double battle. Fuck, I opened up the Pokedex again. Shit. Double battle, Pidgeotto, Heracross, um, let's get Heracross and Croconaw. We haven't had Croconaw out in a little while. So let's do Heracross and Croconaw. I don't know what types these, uh, Picnickers or whatever the hell they are gonna have, but hopefully we can shit on them either way with Heracross and Croconaw. But yeah, I haven't used Croconaw in a little while. Oh, it's not a double battle. What the fuck? Well, never mind. Horn attack. Uh, I don't remember. There wasn't, there was double battles in... Or was third generation? Was third generation the first generation double battles? I don't remember. Hmm. I should probably know that. I don't remember. Anyways, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get into the question for this episode. Like I said, I wanted to go ahead and um, get you guys a little more involved in the series. And actually, you know what? I want to take my Soul Server Let's Play. You're going to see me adding on to it uh, here and there. I want to take my Let's Plays, not just Soul Silver, but everything from here on out. I want to take it to the next level. I want to make each episode like an actual episode of a TV show. So you'll see me add a, a couple things here and there over the next couple weeks, you know, just uh, testing the water, seeing what works and seeing what doesn't work. So just expect a lot more to be happening with Soul Silver than just, ah, you know, just a Let's Play. But anyways, what I wanted to let, uh, ask you guys is, you know, I know that a majority of the audience that checks out the videos um, is, is younger. You know, it's a younger audience, so I'm assuming that a lot of you still live at home with your parents. Tell me, what is the most annoying, what is the most annoying thing that your parents do that you just can't stand? That just drives you crazy up the wall. And it's like, if they weren't your parents and you knew they wouldn't beat the fuck out of you, you cursed them out over it? You know, shit like that. For me, uh, I actually did a, a vlog about this a while back on my old channel. Um, the one thing that they do is that, like, I'll have, is this a burden guy? Behold my dexterity and grace. Oh, <laughs> behold, I am Juggler Erwin. Juggle, juggle, juggle. Oh, I have a Voltor. A level 2 Voltor. Are you serious, dude? Are you serious? Get out of my face. Anyways, the uh, one thing that my parents do that always drives me crazy is I'll be, like, uh, in here playing a video game, in my room playing a video game, or I'll be recording or whatever, and they'll come in, and they'll say whatever, and then turn around and walk out. I Wait, wait, wait. I didn't set that up right. The door's closed. And they come in, and they'll say something, then turn around and walk out. 
without closing the door. And it's like, the door was closed! Close it when you turn around and leave! Are you serious? Oh my god. That's the one thing that really just drives me crazy. So let me know what you guys uh, think down in the comment section. What drives you crazy about your parents? And all that good shit. But, Juggler Irwin here. Come on with your Voltorbs, dude. Come on. Two, six, and now I'm paralyzed. Come on, dude. I'm pretty sure I have a, a paralyzed heal. Hair across the paralyzed can't move. Come on, dude. Get this shit out of here. All right, let's. You're the best I've ever battled. <gasps> you're the one who saved all the slowpoke. Oh, uh, this guy wants my number. Fuck. I gave everybody my number and I never answered the phone. I'm the worst friend ever. All right, let's see what we got here. Paralyzed heal. There we go. You admire me for saving all the slowpoke, but then you paralyze my goddamn hair across. Fuck off. All right, buddy. I think the last time I fire breather. I think the last time I saw a fire breather was in that uh, uh, Union Cave. Oh, he's got a magmar. He's got a level 11 magmar. I'm jelly. I'm so jelly. That's oh, I'm burned now. What the fuck? Paralyzed out of one battle, burned in the next. Um, if I could choose. And I may have the option, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure in Burnt, in Burnt Tower, or Burnt Tower, whatever it's called, in Ecruteague City, you can catch a Magmar there. If I could add Magmar to my party, that would be my fire Pokemon choice right there. Because, I mean, I was trying to think about it the other night, and I was like, eh, you know, I can't really, there's not a whole lot of, like, decent, in my opinion, fire Pokemon in 2nd Gen that are available. Fuck, Heracross is dead. Shit. Oh, Croconaw on your ass. Well, we get to use Croconaw. Which is what I want to do. I'm going to jump with that double battle. That failed double battle, I should say. Uh, but I mean, like, I don't want a Slugma. I don't want none of that shit. And uh, originally I wanted to get a Growlithe. But Growlithe is only available in Heart Gold. And in Soul Silver, it's just uh, Vulpix. This dude was my phone number two. Holy shit. Oh, Lord, get away from me. I can't talk to him? You can go anywhere safely. Uh, is this where... I need to heal my Pokemon. I need to get Heracross healed. And that's the Sudowoodoo right there, if I remember correctly. Can I just poop all over this Nidoran real quick? Oh, I'm poisoned! Come on, dude! Paralyzed, burned, poisoned, left and right! Holy shit! <sighs> Anyways, as I was saying, Growlithe is only available on... Heart Gold and then Soul Silver Vulpex is available, and it's like I've, I've got nothing against Vulpex. It's just nah. he wants to learn Ice Fang. Forget a move. Let's go. Get rid of Rage. I'd rather have I'd rather have Scratch just because Scratch is like that move that just does like a little bit of damage. You know, every once in a while you run into one of those battles where you don't want to just defecate on everybody that you run into. Like maybe you want to catch a Pokemon and you don't want to defecate on them, so you just need Scratch real quick to lower yourself. So I'll hold on to Scratch and get rid of Rage, but we got Ice Fang, that's nice. He wants my phone number two! Holy shit! Can we, can I put my name on the don't call list? Can I do that? God damn. Anyways, <laughs> here's a Ditto. <laughs> Let me use Ice Fang on Ditto. Get out of here, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, if I can finish a goddamn thought without running <laughs> into a battle. Um, Vulpex is on, on Soul Silver. Growlithe is on, um... Heart Gold. I'd love to use a Growlithe. Would you like to cut it? Let's go. Is this the Sudowoodle? Oh, it's not the Sudowoodle. I didn't think it was because it didn't look familiar. Hmm, hold on. Hold on. It, really? The tree regrew that fast? Okay, I need to get to the next city like right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this building. But, anyways, finally back to my initial thought. Vulpex is in Soul Silver. Growlithe is in heart gold I said it a million times <laughs> I love to get uh, Growlithe because I've never used Growlithe before and what is this what is this is this the uh, Safari Pokathlon dome is this way I can't participate in the Pokathlon right now buddy I can't do it I'd love to do it but I can't do it at this second because my crocodile is gonna die and I'd love to go down in this grass here and fight the trainer. And guess what? I'm off topic again. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I've never used a Growlithe before. And I love to get a Growlithe in the Arcanine. Um, Vulpix. I've, I think I've used a Vulpix in the Ninetales once before. 
Um, I'm not the world's biggest fan. I've got nothing against it. It's just I'm not the world's biggest fan. And we have an antidote, so let's go ahead and use the antidote and a super potion. So it's just, it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's not the ideal Pokemon for me. Vulpix and Ninetales. So I was thinking that, hey, maybe once I get to Burn Tower or Burnt Tower, whatever the fuck it is, I can't remember. Um, I could go ahead and uh, pick up a Magmar. And it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember using a Magmar before. I've, I know I've used him before, but like never as a serious contender in like a Let's Play or anything, so... I don't know. I might, uh... Try and catch a Magmar. Spoiler alert. Come on with the Kinesis. Come on now. Lower my damn accuracy. Let's go! Level 22. Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong button! So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, catching Magmar in Ecruteague City. I'm also looking forward to, um... Picking up his nut right here, his acorn. Uh, <laughs> also looking forward to uh, taking on Morty. And is this a critique? Is this a critique? National Park. What the hell? Can I just go to a critique? Shit. Okay, I want to come back to the National Park. Trust me, I do. But I need to get to the next city and heal my Pokemon. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! I want to heal Heracross because I really like to use Heracross and get him leveled up. I mean, I, I would like to get everyone else leveled up as well, but Heracross is my baby. <laughs> He's my beast in the party. Oh shit, Croconaw might get leveled up too. Really? 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 You want my phone number, buddy? You want my damn phone number? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get away from me. This is the pseudo Wudu. Flower shops for Leah. Hmm. Just soak it. That's the pseudo Wudu right there. I knew we were around him somewhere. Alright, so we're gonna have to do the Pocathlon or go through National Park. I wanna do both. Um, because I don't remember the Pocathlon, that's that wasn't an original Soul Silver and Heart Gold. Original Soul Silver and Heart Gold. That wasn't in the original Silver and Gold. So I wanna check it out. And if I remember correctly, this shit gives you a quick claw. Thank you. I will hold on to that. I will assign it to a Pokemon as well here in a moment. And what the fuck, Pokathlon? All right. Not doing. Not gonna do Pokathlon. All right. <clears throat> so we're here. We are in the national park. Fuck it. Let's get our battle on. Let's get our battle on. Let's shit all over the Pokemon in the uh, national park. If I remember correctly, I ran into. You can catch a Heracross here, I think. Because that's what I remember... I don't know. I don't know. My memory is just... It's all blurred. And I don't want to sit here and say... Oh my god. I This I do know, okay? This I do know. People want your number so much more now than in the original fucking Soul Silver. I keep saying the original Soul Silver. The original Heart Gold. Fuck! The original Silver and Gold. That much I do know. Because I remember you would get like... 20 people's numbers max. Now, it's like, we've run into like 6 people already in this episode that want my fucking number. And it's like, I'm just gonna shit on you again. That's all that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna poop on you. You call me back if I answer the phone, which probably won't happen. I'm just gonna poop on you. Voltorb. Mmm, let's switch out. Uh, see, this is where a hair cross would be amazing. Right here. Fuck it, let's go. Let's go, it's just a Voltor. We got this show. Bite! Bite that nigga. Yeah! Please don't get paralyzed! Whew! Alright. Are you serious? This dude wants my number two. This is ridiculous right now, okay? Can I is there an option to disable the telephone? Cause that would be amazing. Just never have anybody call you ever again. <laughs> Mom would be trying to hit you up like, where's my kid at? Bitch! He's been missing. Whoa! This dude has a Raichu! Holy shit! Please don't use an electric move. Yeah, keep using quick attack. You're good, bro. You're good. You're good, bro. Pokefan, huh? Alright. Oh, shit. With a Sunkern. That's... Uh, that I remember using. I had a Sunkern on my original Silver playthrough. And it evolved into... Is it Sunflora? I think it's Sunflora. And it was a monster. It was a beast. I know I used monster and beast a lot, but straight up, 
I remember it being amazing. And that's that's rare for me. If you, uh, was it, which episode was it? Uh, I think episode 7 when I fought uh, my rival country and it had Meganium. Not Meganium, what the fuck am I talking about? <coughs> um, Bayleaf. And I said that just the grass Pokemon are just always, um, status effect. If for, for me, I don't normally choose grass Pokemon at all, but... That sun floor was amazing. It was amazing, amazing. <laughs> well, shit, Croconaut Flail. Uh, let's let's check out Flail real quick. The user flails about aimlessly to attack. It becomes more powerful. To... No, we're not gonna do that. We want concentrated attacks. Give up on Flail. Croconaut might be at level 25 by the time we get to Ecritique. This bitch wants my phone number two. Come on now. And look, mom's calling. I'm never gonna answer the phone, mom. It's never gonna happen, so you can stop calling. You wanna fight too? She doesn't wanna fight. She knows what's good for her. <laughs> she knows what's good for her. This guy doesn't wanna fight either. He's on his Game Boy. The Pokey Walker. But, oh, the Rock, the rock Slide. Is it Rock Slide Rock Climb? Soothe Bell. I know if you go like all the way around, you can find like some X Defender or some shit. Something like that. Oh, god damn. So we pooped on everybody in the national park. And does this mean that... Okay, I think I already have the water pail now that I think about it. Because I think I visited the um, shop once before already. The, uh, the flower shop in Goldenrod or whatever. But, but, one thing that I do want to do is go and heal... Croconaw and all them, and all them, Croconaw and Heracross, because, um, we're gonna have to, we're number one, we're gonna have to fight, what's his name, uh, Sudowoodo, and I know there's gonna be other trainers and shit over there too, and I, I just, I just rather have the PP, and be prepared for anything that I might run into, but I know there was a guy down here, and I want to battle him as well, Drowsy! What up, nigga? Ice Fang. How you doing? Disable. Fuck you. Water gun. How's that? How you like me now, Drowsy? You were cool till you did that shit. All right, we're gonna have to whip out a repel too, cause this is ludicrous right now. Actually, I might not, because uh, Crocodile's about to hit 25, and if Crocodile hits 25 before this shit, uh, fuck it. We'll just switch over to Heracross and keep right on going. And that's fine because then once we get into um, the Ecruteague City and get into Ecruteague City Gym, uh, Flaffy can somewhat excel there, you know, with uh, Thunder Shock and all that on the Ghost Pokemon. Um, because like people like Pidgeotto and Heracross, they're gonna be completely useless. I forgot that was disabled. They're gonna be completely useless. So Flaffy would be probably who I lean on, Flaffy and Croconaw. But if we have Croconaw already trained up, we don't need to use him. Problem solved. So everyone gets their training. Birdkeeper Brian, what's going on? Was it Brian or Byron? I think it was Brian. By the way, we're gonna poop on you. We already pooped on Faulkner. Shouldn't you be chilling with him? Maybe you need to go train with Faulkner. Cause you ain't on my level, nigga. Ice Fang. <laughs> so yeah, so I think in that gym, Croconaw and Flaffy would be who we rely on. TM66 Payback. Croconaw and Flaffy would be who we would rely on, but Croconaw's already leveled up, so we'll just rely on Flaffy and see how much we can do. But, uh, of course, I'm going to try and visit the Burn Tower beforehand, and I think I should be able to get a, whatchamacallit, a Magmar, hopefully. Hopefully it's not like in just specific areas of the building you can get a, whatchamacallit. Someone's calling me again. Mom's calling me. Not going to pick up. Not answering. It's not happening. Ain't happening. But all right. We're gonna get healed up. Rest your Pokemon, nigga. And I think I'm gonna lead with uh, Croconoff right now. And then once he hits 25, we will um, swap back over to Heracross. Just because, you know, he's he's almost there, and he's he's performing well already. So let's just let's just go with what works. But while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and save the game. And get a save in while we're here, because you guys already know Soul Silver Rom. Fucks up everything. I won't say it fucks up everything, but it has the chance to uh, uh, freeze and whatnot. So, but alright.
We out this motherfucker. Um, just to be 100% sure, uh, since we're here, let's go ahead and visit the... It's not right there. Let's go ahead and visit the flower shop and make sure that we have that pail. The water pail to make homeboy wiggle and move. A tree. There's nothing to worry about, is there? I'll let you use this squirt bottle for... Oh, wait. Never mind. Keep it. All right. Bam. We got the squirt bottle. So now we can go fuck up Sudowoodo. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a good thing that we came back to heal because we could pick up the squirt bottle too. Because we, I mean, we had to come back anyway to get the damn squirt bottle. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to say fuck you to the Pokathlon. We ain't doing that shit. And we're going to... Did we seriously not run into any Pokemon just now? That's amazing. And as you... Whoa. Right into a battle. And as you guys can probably tell um, from the editing that I'm going to have to do, the ROM did freeze just now when I tried to cut that tree. Cargan on level 25. <laughs> All right. So now that he's level 25, we can swap out Heracross. We'll be good to go. So let's hope it doesn't fucking freeze again. Cut the tree. Ooh. It didn't freeze. All right. So, <laughs> like I said, I don't. I have no no clue why it does that. Um, that's probably one of the reasons why you don't see a whole lot of Soul Silver uh, Let's Plays on YouTube. Is just because it freezes like crazy like that. You just gotta um, make sure you save frequently. But that's neither here nor there. We are here now, and we are ready to take on the Pseudo Wudo. Let's use the squirt bottle on this nigga. Now I'm a little torn. Normally, under normal circumstances. Um, I wouldn't catch the pseudo Wudo because, I mean, he's not like my favorite Pokemon. Um, there is, I mean, I don't know off the top of my head where you can find another one. So I may try to catch him just, just for GP. Um, but if, if we can't catch him, I have no issues at all just killing him. Zero. All right, he learned Brick Break. Stop it, dude. Stab it. Stab it from the bottom now, yeah. All right. We don't have any great balls. Oh, we gotta fix that. We gotta visit a Pokemart next time. Come on, nigga, stay in the Pokeball. Oh, you bitch. I'm only gonna try one more Pokeball on you, and if you don't go in it, that's it. You did. You can use Flail all you want. Oh, he's got low HP. Uh, I'm gonna use one more Pokeball on you, and that's it. You don't stay in it, then. I should have used a fastball. What the fuck am I doing? That was like the second turn of the damn battle. We caught that nigga! Alright, so Sudowoodo, we're not gonna use Sudowoodo because, um, if I remember, isn't he like uh, grass and fighting or something like that? Um, he's rock, never mind. I'm fucking retarded, but <laughs> we don't really need him in our party, um, so I just caught him for GP, so he's just gonna chill in the box with Togepi and Spiro. That was fun! I wanna give you this for entertaining me! Yay! Berry box! Yay! <laughs> With the berry pots, you can grow any berry from any region with no worry. That's right, I'll give you some berries too. Berry pots won't do really any good without any berries. Orange berries, that's gonna go to clutch health situations, not no damn uh, berry pots and none of that shit. So, thank you, but uh, doesn't matter. You should go north here. Alright. So, we want to go to Ecrutique. What's up, Tubby? Oh, so this is the other side. Oh. So speaking of Faulkner, because that's the dude that gave us Rock Smash. So Faulkner is this way. Um, Violet City is that way. The Unknown Ruins is down there. But we want to go north to Ecrutique and get our Ghost Pokemon on Hyper Potion. God damn, I'll take it. Free Hyper Potion, you damn right I'm going to take that shit. But if I do remember correctly, look at those two. Smirking. Oh, is this the double battle? That's battle! Alright, I'm bringing out a Pokemon! Double battle, double battle, double battle! Ah. Yes, that's what I was gonna say! I like, uh, I, I know some of y'all probably already left a comment from my, from my comment earlier on in the video. I was about to say, I knew double battles were introduced in the second generation. I didn't think it was that long. I mean, shit, I'm not that old. I remember that, at least. So... Alright, so let's go ahead and shit on these two. Heracross and Crocodile. Look at that. If that ain't a team, I don't know what the fuck it is. God damn. But I am excited to get to Ecrutique, which should be good. Should be really good, actually. Get our Ghost Pokemon on. I said it like 14 times already. Let's get our Ghost Pokemon on. 
And like that, Crocodile and Heracross just shit all over these two little girls' Pokemon. They didn't ask me for my phone number. <laughs> they know better. Man, I wish this would have been a... Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> I was going to say, I wish this would have been a double battle, but turns out it is. Hey, baby. Cassandra and Kelly, are you done, girl? Are you done? <laughs> Let me get your number. Woo! <laughs> Wigglytuff and Clefable. Now that's a team that's just as worthy. But we're going to... I think Wigglytuff's more of a threat than Clefable is. But let's go ahead and hit him with the Brick Break Bite Combo again. And let's hope for the best. Come on, Wigglytuff! Die! There we go! Woo! Wigglytuff, wet, bop, bye. Metronome. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, brick break on both of these niggas. Let's use an ice fang on this Clefable this time. See what happens. Brick break is gone. Heracross is a monster, dude. I don't give a fuck what you say. Heracross is a straight beast. <laughs> I swear to God, he is a straight monster. I'm, I'm happy that uh, I picked up Heracross. I will say that. I'm, I'm really happy that I picked up Heracross. So, all right, y'all want my number? No, they don't want my number. All right, well. Fuck y'all. want my damn number. <laughs> I don't want to give it to you anyway. But, uh, I know there is one more trainer over here. And if I remember correctly, you can catch a Stantler over here. I will take all of these while we're here. I remember the first time I saw a Stantler, I thought it was the craziest, like, most intense Pokemon ever. And I caught one, and I was like, this is so cool. And then I, and then I actually used him, and he was just like, mm. <laughs> like he was just hmm he wasn't all that great so <laughs> oh well psychic greg are you trying to get me ready for a critique city gym oh wait this is a psychic pokemon not ghost oh well oh brick break is disabled stop using fucking disable it doesn't help you win the damn fight you need to go train some more come on now Stanler, speak of the damn devil <laughs> i don't, I don't want to say i thought he was a legendary cuz that's a little a uh, little bit of a stretch even for myself, but I was definitely uh, impressed by him. I'll say that. Fuck! The last bush in the goddamn field. It's a Pidgey. Pidgey, you don't want it. You don't want it! Told you, you don't want it. Alright, so we have reached Ecruteak City. Finally. So let's go ahead and heal, and uh, we'll hit... Oh, shit. Who is this? Hi! I'm Bill! And who are you? Ha! Nappy! Ha! You know what? I'm the one that developed the system to transfer Pokemon! But it couldn't have been done without- Whoa, whoa, whoa. But it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? The girl Lynette from Hoenn that made the stored Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod and see my folks. <laughs> bye bye! Get the fuck out the way, nigga. Get out the way. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, heal our Pokemon and stop by the Pokemart and all that shit. And in the next episode, we will explore Ecruteak City, Burn Tower, and the gym. So, thank you all for checking out the video. Make sure you hit that like button down below and let me know what's the most annoying thing that your parents do. As always, thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube, Napo92. Uh, I'm out.